Hello and welcome to everyone watching. My name is Shurjo. In this video, I shall talk about how to edit patches in the Vox Stomp Lab 1G. I've already made a video showing just the patches, just going through the patches that the preset patches it has so that uh, you'll have an idea of what the processor sounds like. And now we shall delve a little further and detail the editing process of this. The signal chain, as always, is the same. It's my guitar which goes into the processor, the Stomp Lab 1G, which goes into my katana, and that is being mic'd, and that's what you're hearing. Uh, diving right into it, if you have seen the first video, and if you have not, please do, it's a pretty decent video. Um, you know that they have separate categories for the tones. You can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These are your preset patches. Once you go into the U, these are the user patches, the ones which you can edit. So let's take U3 and try and edit it. And as of now, let's see what the sound is. It's a pretty clean, uh, as in straightforward, what I mean by clean, a straightforward distorted patch. The first thing you have to do when you have to edit here, you have to press this edit function. You can see that red light glows on there. Now you can edit. So taking it all the way across, the first thing that they have is a pedal, which they're showing right now as uh, off. So if you want to change that, you have to go to effect type and you have different effects like CO and frequency modulators and so on and so forth. What I like particularly is an octaver, which is this one, OC. So you can immediately hear that there's an octave, there's a second tone added to the sound. Now, <clears throat> you, also, you also have two knobs here which says gain value one, level value two. Uh, in this particular case, when you're editing, what you need to do is right now you're on OC, so you know which uh, effect you've chosen, which is your octave, then you press it again, and now you're in the center, you're corresponding to the center knob and it says 7.5 and that is actually my original guitar effect. So, just the octaver, guitar as well, value 2 is actually how much of the octaver is there. So on 0 there is no octaver. And again, if I wanted to switch effects, I would go here and I would go through the effect types. Okay? So that's what that is. And you press both of them at once to switch it off. Okay? You want the function on and off, you switch it, uh, both the up and down t buttons, you switch them at the same time, the function goes off. So we can have something there, but I really am not. Uh, feeling that I need something there right now, maybe for, for something more specific, but for the purposes just to show you how it works. Now we go on to the amp type. Uh, again, you can go through the various amp types they've got. So we had a distorted sound, but I like, just for the purpose of the editing, a little cleaner sound. Now, me personally, I'm partial to this kind of sound. I think I'll stick with this. I'll reduce the gain a little further. Yeah, I like this. I like this with sound, but keep in mind that they have a lot of different amp types. They have many, many amp types. Like, like G1 all the way to 9. They are like heavy amps, really heavy amps, really clean amps like this one. And you can go through the gain and the volume and change the nature and character of the tone. So that's something very, very cool. Bringing it back down to this knob. So now we move on to the low, which is your low frequency. You can just, you can just hear the lows come in. All right. Mm -hmm. 
Same goes for the highs. You have the highs, as you can see. Now, I like a little bit extra high in this sort of clean patches because of what I'm thinking for what I'm going to try and make. So you can do that. Uh, moving on then to the cabinet type. So again, I'll switch the cabinet. I like that cabinet type. This is a little warmer tone. As a matter of fact, I'll keep this for the purpose of this um, movement. And then we have a modulation. So then we can go through different kinds of modulations, choruses, flanger. Don't want it to be like crazy over the top, but adding some nice color to it is what I'm looking for. So now moving on to delays and which says it's off now for me, that's for the sound I have in mind, that's not really going to work. Let's just have any delay. On. Decent. Now I like that clean. Like this one's cleaner than the previous one. Again, these are subjective things. They are open to your taste and interpretation. So you should use your taste and interpretation. Now I'm liking it, although I realize that my enthusiasm for my modulation has carried too far off and that the flanger should not be so excessive. So I'm going to back off the flanger because the, with the delay, it's really going crazy. So now they have a SP, which is a spring reverb. So just for the sake of this, I'm going to really make a, like a lush reverb sound. Now we're really in the ballpark. A guitar tone that makes you want to sing and play. Makes me want to sing and play, in case you didn't feel like it. <laughs> I reduce a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That's the volume. Yeah, I'm very cool with this. Uh, then the other aspects become like noise reduction, I guess, and different sorts of outputs and so on and so forth. So now uh, I'm out here. I go to right, and then they say to hold both of them. So I'm holding both of them. And I think once that CP signal comes in, I think this is saved. All right. It is saved. So I changed patch and then I came back and the old basic straightforward distortion patch which is there has now been replaced by something with which I can sing a few songs and write a few words. Have a little fun and finish this song. Lovely tone, and as you can see, it is a complete turnaround from what the original patch was. That's a lot of fun. 
uh, and it's great that this can do that. This is the way to edit on the Vox Stomplab 1G. You can see it has pretty powerful effects, convincing effects. You hear them, the tones sound convincing. There's a lot of uh, different effects that you can use, a lot of amp types, so on and so forth. So it really, for such a small thing, it really has quite a vast range of capabilities. And um, I hope when you use it, you push the machine to the full length of its capability so that you can get the most out of it. And I hope this video was helpful to you. And until next time, take care. You might want to subscribe, by the way.